and the house got raided. He gets arrested. No, yeah. He, he, got, he got pulled over with like a key. He got pulled over? <laughs> 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 Motherfucker! Hey, this is Matt Cox, and we're going over one of the largest grow operations in Nebraska history. So I had a thousand plants in there. And now like I'm doing 30 lights. You know what I'm saying? So this is my first time ever gonna like full power with this house. And I love it. Right. So like now I have clientele already, those clientele I'll be building. And now I had that house. So that's how it happens. But then bam, shit hit the fence again, I got caught. <laughs> <laughs> that was in 2006. Yeah, that was right. in, I owned that house. Oh, yeah. That time I owned a pool hall, too. So what you own a pool? Because basically, at this point, you're making money. You're starting to make some money. Well, right? Uh, yeah. Or, the, no. I bought a pool hall. I bought Bill and Wynn pool hall in, uh, I think it was like 06. Well, I mean, how'd you buy the pool? I mean, you, you must have been making money at this point oh, yeah. to buy a pool hall. Well, it was through an Asian guy. It was like 30 grand. You know, yeah, know. Like most, people, most people don't have 30 grand. I'm just, just letting you know. <laughs> most people don't have 30 grand to blow on a pool hall. So you must have been doing, starting to do okay. Well, so man, man, like, uh, like yourself, you're an entrepreneur. Like your, I, your mind's always like, yo, I'm going to make some more. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And, you, and like, I understand I, you're acting like I wasn't like, yeah, I was really scraping by. You just bought a pool hall for 30 grand. I mean, you didn't, you're not broke. So you're doing, you must, you're starting to make some money. Oh yeah. I mean, right. But I, was, I wasn't like, like you weren't balling. No, I understand. No, no. You I was driving Ferraris and no, that's and, later on. Yeah, that's later <laughs> 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 then right. that's later on you know what I'm saying man my life is so fucking comical man it was, it so, was like this shit is so fucking funny sometimes so what happened so how'd you get busted huh what led to you getting busted the first the first time the oh first the extra, first one the uh the 33 yeah the x street house well I had a uh, I have like I think it was my fucking dog or some shit like that and like I didn't write, like, I'm supposed to, like, talk to the fucking, my rent, my rent to own landlord or some shit, and I never did. So I he must have went to my house and fucking, like, opened it and just fucking saw all that. And that's how I got busted. But I won. See, because I won the fucking case, it makes me think I was arrogant, right? Well, so he, wait, wait. So you, how did you get arrested, though? Like, they came in, they grabbed you? Like, what happened? No, I got arrested because... My neighbor was like, hey, we saw a bunch of cops go to your house. Oh, okay. And I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, so I was like, all right. So that time, I shut down the pool hall. So I was laying low. I was just laying low for like maybe like eight, nine months and just kind of like, just go one day. Yeah, you were hiding out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just do one thing until I went to the casino. And I was driving one day. Then I got busted. Then I had a lawyer, uh, Kurt, pay him like 20 grand and fucking... Yeah. yeah, and then this, like, this is the local cops had raided the place. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was local. local. It, okay. was like, it wasn't you know, DEA or anything. No, no, they, they, they were just like it, it was kind of shitty too because I kind of like all the plans was kind of dead because I was already ready. Kind of like I don't need that house no more. I was kind of like gonna like get that house, get ready, and just finally sell it out, whatever. Because that house, I was, I was done. I was, I was on a different level. Right now, I don't need that. So that caused me like I, I want the case. Instead of uh, a manufacturer, I walk away with possessions un under a pound. So I did four months in jail. Cause, uh, I mean, they could, but there was like 100 pound plants in, in there. No, but it was just a bunch of fucking like middle, small shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it was right. just vegging. Okay. Which is vegging. So if you added it all up, it wasn't Yeah, that it, much. Wasn't, it okay. wasn't like that, you know? So I got away with that. And while I was in jail, I had my, uh, well, so I had my cousin, whatever it is. Get pick all the weeds from all those people got busted. I was on my fucking disc. So I was in jail and I was selling weed already. You know what I'm saying? Because I tell him, hey, go pick up my shit, make sure all my fucking guys eat. Because what he did, well, I was in jail for four months. He uh, he was selling all my weed. You know, I still make money when I was in jail. Right. Yeah. So the houses are still going. No, the house is kind of stuck, but I was I was buying weed. See, all the guys that grow weed. I was buying this shit. I'm not just a grower. I'll buy everybody's right. shit too. So now you're distributing. You're buying the stuff and you're redistributing it to, to, to your dealers that are selling that had their Correct. customers. Okay. So you, so you while get you're in prison. Well, I mean, while you're locked up waiting, waiting for this charge <laughs> to get, to get yeah. overturned. Okay. Yeah. So like I, I was still doing that. I was just like, I like, but then that's how like all those, those, no family, whatever it is. I was buying their weed and just sell it to you and now 
Omaha and Lincoln and whatever, whatever it is. And I was still doing that because, so when I get out and uh, four months later, my cousin Tito picked me up with a fucking Hummer and he, he gave me two grand and he's like, yo, I'll, get, I'll give you all the rest of your fucking money tomorrow because, because uh, whatever we did those four months, I was supposed to get half and I know he did a lot. So I, I got like, you know what? Keep the rest, bro, I just need two grand. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. So instead of getting all this money from him those four months that I did while I was locked up, I just kind of like gave it away because I just want my guys. Right. I, you know? Did, has you won the case yet? No, I won that case. Oh, he's out. So, no, I know, I knew you got out, but yeah. I didn't know if you got out on bond or not. You, no, you, that you, time you I had to, won. dude. I had to. I had to serve time that time. I was on bail. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I thought maybe for some reason I thought he you maybe. He was charged with distribution and play out to like a profession. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay, and so your time was the four months. Six months. Oh, right? yeah. What, okay, I get it. I get yeah, it. so that time, I was, I was in county map. I've never been, like, hardcore prison. I was just county. Right. Fucking county. So you get out, you start, you start up again? What do you do? Yeah, I started up again. I started up again. The 81st Street house. Yep, yeah. I started up again. And then after that, uh, I went and get another house down 27th Street in Pine Lake, whatever. Not a, like, now this is all, like, kind of like a... Uh, Suburban place, a bunch of white folks all the right. time. Like middle class, like kind of better. Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like that. So I kind of like blend in because that time, I, that time I was kind of like, blend. I'm with the kids, so the kid make me look good all the time. Right. Like I'm a, I'm a fucking strong yeah, father yeah. with a fucking kid. You yeah. know what I mean? Shit like that. Yeah. You know, and um, so I end up meeting my wife, you know, and I have a daughter with her. That's when I start like, you know, doing things, open more business. I open a coffee shop, and after that, I open a nail shop. So, how many houses do you have now, at this point? How many houses you're about running? three life? So now you're you're running three houses plus, and they're plus. they're all got a thousand plants yeah. a piece. And in. I think that time I was buying weed from everybody too. And you're buying weed from other yeah. grow houses. Yeah, but I was I didn't buy like. Mass of them. I was just buying like maybe like four or five pounds here, four or five pounds there. Yeah, to just so, whatever you need to meet the demand. You can only supply so much if there's correct. extra. I need an extra four yeah. pounds. I need an extra two pounds. Correct. But and the so, price, the price was like, uh, I get it for, t- I bought it from them for two grand. I flipped out 25. My guys flipped out to like 36. But I always try to give my guys the lowest number ever because uh, I want to make sure they eat you know what I'm saying like they eat I eat everybody fucking eat and um, that's and how I did it so how how are you uh, laundering the money through through the you said you opened up a coffee a, shop coffee shop <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. you, so you got a coffee shop and what else a nail shop nail salon yeah. right or nail shop um um, so I mean, what did you do? You went in, you just renovate. Did you buy the buildings, or did you just you lease the space? No, I leased and, the space, and I just and did build did out, out, build every fucking thing up. That's what I did with the nail shop too. And then you just take the cash and you put it in the bank, and you say that this is a cash business. There's a lot of cash because businesses. those are cash business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I, you know, I, I never had like mentors that tells me, yo, you supposed to do this and really say, oh, do this stocks and shit. All my mentors, Matt, you gotta realize all the people that taught me are fucking drug dealers and crazy right. motherfuckers. Yeah. They never really teach me what's it like to be like white collar shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Be like, hey, kids, supposed to do this, they learn this, that. No, no one tells me yeah. shit. Yeah, you buy a, you figure, I, I buy a business, I start a business, make sure it's a cash business, then I can funnel in some of the, doesn't even matter if the business makes money. The business yeah. can take a loss. It's going to look on paper. It's going to look like it makes that's money. Why, that's why they got me because when they bust me, they're like, we know your business don't make shit. We watch you. All you do is gamble and fucking parties all the time. Because my cousin, my other cousin drive a, this is like an Escalade 26. My other cousin drive a 750. I think that time I had a X6. And my other cousin six, I have 650. What's an X6? BMW. BMW. Yeah. Did you buy a, a Ferrari at one point? Yeah. Did I? <laughs> Well, so that question. hitting, that was like really hitting. Like nobody really know because I parked a motherfucker downtown. Only like certain people know it was about. I think because of that, I got busted. I was just going to say, do you think that was suspicious? Yeah, but no. Because this one, one night I picked my cousin from Toronto. You know, we was just like pick him up and we just, you know, we landed and we just like, and I'm here I am want to fucking show off beer. Again. Yeah, cousin, I'm doing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Stupid shit like that. So we just driving. And then we were just smoking. We, I got pulled over. 
And the cop was like, hey, you know, you, this is a high profile shit. I didn't understand what the fuck pro- high profile. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, whatever, bro. Just give me a fucking ticket and get on my way. You know, and then he wrote some shit down. And then um, I think what really hits the fan is when my cousin shot that guy seven times. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he lives. The guy fucking lives. Bro, you know. I like I don't know what that what that I don't know yeah. what to say. So how 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 did the, okay? So how did how your cousin? So how why did your cousin shoot someone seven times? Like it seems excessive, but what why does why did oh, someone why did he yeah. shoot somebody? Man, my cousin John, he's a, he man, he's a, I love that fool because he 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 he's so like manly. Like guys like that, we don't see that much. It wasn't even his fight. His friend started the trouble, and he was just like my own business. He just have a kid. He started his, trouble, like what do you mean, like like start at a bar, at a, bar, or a like house, it was house party. His friend come up, yo, I got some altercation with this little, you know, some Spanish dude. And my cousin always wanted to be a fucking hero and save his friend, so my cousin drive over there, and uh, you know, try to save him. My aunt, uh, the dude run up to this dude and try to stab him, stab my cousin's friend. My cousin pulled out uh, his fucking, I think he's 45, and shot that dude from trying to save his friend. It wasn't my cousin's fight. Right. It was some dude, some bullshit he had on, but he's the one who helped the dude out. What happened is all those guys that he helped turned out snitch on him. Yeah, so it's kind of fucked up. So what happened is when my cousin, and my cousin, he's in the game too. He's okay, so you so so there was a Spanish guy that tried to tried to stab your cousin. No, cousin's friend. your cousin's friend. Yeah. Your cousin shoots the Spanish guy, and then the guy that your that your cousin protected when snitched he got out. busted, he when yeah. he got busted, he no, snitched no, out sn- your yeah, your cousin. No, I snitched on my cousin. Yeah, yeah, just do that shot him. Why ain't that some shit? You know what I'm saying? And my cousin, he, you know, he, 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 that time he was in like early 20s, he got so much shit going. And he looked up to me. And I'm just like, I'm just like his dude. So my whole family is pissed because they think that I transformed my cousin. I did that to my cousin. And you let him, and you let him over to the dark side, right? Well, I was a bad role model. That's what right. my whole family blamed me. So I'm just like, it's kind of fucked up because when he, got, when he was busted, the whole family bailed him out like a hundred grand on belt. So he's on belt. The cops are fucking pissed. Why is this young guy's connected? This is this all yeah. fucking How's belt. How's he come up with a hundred grand? And correct. And like after that, right? So my cousin here, and we we're chilling every fucking day in my coffee shop, playing cards every fucking day, smoking weed. This is all we do all day. So I think like ever since my cousin shot that, shot him, right? And the cars I was driving, all all everybody was doing. We were like, I think we were like, time was running yeah, out for us. You were a target. You, you, we they, were. they know that something's was it. going on. This guy's hanging out. He's hanging out all day, smoking pot and drinking coffee, driving a Ferrari. Something's That's going it. on. Yeah. Plus, I'm sure they hear. You know, let, let's face it. The, cause the cops, they know what's going on. They've got, they've got uh, CIs that are always telling, look, man, this guy's doing this, and then they just kind of put you. Okay, well, we'll. They put your name in the computer, and then one day, two months later, you get pulled over, get a ticket in a Ferrari. You know, and then oh, your name comes up enough times, they start to say, hey, look, maybe it's time to watch this guy for a couple of days. They follow you yeah. around for a week. Next thing you know, they gotta, they're starting a case. This is definitely what's happening. You know, one of your dealer's buddies gets busted, and he says, he's buying his shit from this guy. You know, next thing you know, there's a case. You know, mm-hmm. that's exactly. So, and you were, you, and the Ferrari probably didn't help. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so the uh, so, who's working in the nail salon? Uh, that time? Oh, right now. Oh, you still have the nail salon? I don't own it. No, I give it back. Oh. I mean, when I came out, she she tried to give it back to me, but I walk away. I walk away. I walk away, and I went to Massachusetts. I walk away from that. So what? So oh, yeah. Bad. So what? So your so your cousin got, your cousin shot the guy. How much time did your cousin get? Forty oh. years. Uh, he just hit me up like a few days ago. We Facetime and all that bullshit. Is in, and this is in in uh, Nebraska. Do, yeah. Do they have uh? Do they have uh? Um, yeah, he's parole? gonna do like half. I think he's gonna do like twenty years. He got now like three years left, four years left. Fuck, oh, bro. Twenty years in a Yo, state he's a prison. Kid. In a state prison. Man, that's my cut, horrible. Gladiator school. 
This horrible. is gladiator school, huh, yo? Fighting I, all the time. Man, I heard yeah. them, them state guys, they go harder than us, huh? Yeah. I, Way I, harder. I would, I, I'd rather do... I, I, everybody I know that's done state time has yeah, bro. always said, like, I'd rather do 10 years in the Fed than five years in state. Gladiators. Look, in, huh? in, in, in Florida, like, they don't even have AC in Florida. What? I just sweat everything's everybody I talk you talk to that guy Josh that I, I did a podcast with this guy Josh the other day. Yeah, he's right. like everything's brown from just from sweat. Everything's drenched in sweat. He's like the all the mattresses, you can't sleep with covers on because it's so hot at night. It's just you it's disgusting. Everybody I know in that's gone to the state of Florida has been like, it's the worst. The guards are brutal. You know, you know, oh fed, fed times like yeah. easy come so Not that that it's easy, but it's it ain't, I'm not, no guards are attacking me or beating me up for looking at them cockeyed. Nobody's, you know, it's not, it's not, yeah. not that. It's not that situation, especially if it's a nonviolent crime. Right. Like, did you end up in a, well. I was in medium high. Yeah. yeah well, let's, let's, yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. So, so your cousin, he got, he got his case. He got sentenced. Um, so what, what was like kind of the next thing after that, that happened? Like the, the Fed, I understand they got on you. Who, who started watching you? Did I'm not start, sure. Did it start in the state or did you, or was it fed? State. I think it was state that started watching me because, you know, like, because nowadays I start thinking like pictures. I have pictures of memories. You know, like when you got caught and you wonder why you fucking got caught and you're just thinking, 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 thinking. Yeah, you start noticing that guy last week that I saw two or three times yeah. and he must have, you know what? He was there for like, I thought that was weird, right? Yeah. And there were like copters flying over one of the house I was growing. That thing came off. You know, I was smoking in the balcony. I'm like, why the fuck is that shit flying over? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> I was yeah. Like, yeah. Well, you know what's happening is most likely that it, it's funny because like if you had ordered the Freedom of Information Act on your case, like you'd know exactly what was going on. You could order those documents, read the documents, and be like, oh. Look right here. They did fly a helicopter. I over. didn't know that, bro. Oh yeah, you can order oh, all that. Holy shit, shit man! Yeah, I didn't know I that. I can show you how to order all that. Wow. So, um, but I was gonna say, most likely somebody said that's where he's growing. So they flew a helicopter. They tried to look and see and check it out. Well, that's funny. We didn't get anything from the from the electric company. So right. then they fly over with the yeah. with the uh, infrared and try and figure that's out. That's probably why. But so yeah. what? So how did that progress? You start seeing things. What did you? Did they ever bring you in, or was it just one day, boom, you got raided? I was, the day that I got raided, um, the day that uh, Kev, one of my house got busted, it's Kevin Belton's house. Uh, I was in my coffee shop gambling, drinking coffee and smoking weed and shit, and I got this phone, phone call from my uh, sister. We were like, hey, your house getting a bunch of cups over your house right now. I'm like, what? I and I just that. like, I, hate that. I just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, just like, it's not good. I was like, so I'm thinking, all right, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna do this. I'm fucking done. But but your but the house isn't in your name. Yeah, but I was thinking like I'm, I, you know, you know when shit yeah, like yeah, you that, know. you just like fuck. Uh, are they onto all my house? So I'm thinking like so many shit like oh, what's going on? Are they raiding all the fucking house? This, whatever it is. And um, so later that night, right. I want, I want to go clean up my other house. So I told like, I told my, uh, the, the guy from Canada, I was like, yo, I gotta go clean up fucking house. You know what I'm saying? The hot, like we had the, two you houses. Mean the other existing house. Yeah, it's like two th more. You're thinking shut them down, clean shut up. Shut them down, thing. clean up, because I was like, all right, all right, I mean, I could go down for one house, or he could go down. I was like, man, I told Kevin like before this, anything happens, don't say anything. Just do not fucking say, I'll bail you out right away. I did out bail him out that fucking night, but I was went to jail. I got caught. I would bail him out. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So it's like I told him. I told him how the game is. I was like, "Yo, you're a fucking pretty white boy. You had no record. Nothing else gonna happen to you. The worst you could do is you gonna get a year and some time and for for a uh, manufacturer for one house. It's not a lot. It's fucking weed. And this is just the local cops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This at is, that point. At that time, this is what I told him before everything happens. Like I told, because I already know, understand how the game works. Be like, your first time felon, you ain't gonna get shit. This and that. You're gonna be really leaning with you, and you know you're you never been in trouble before. You good. You gonna be you. You're yeah, the be good. safety safety value. You've never been Correct. in trouble. You can only get. Yeah. So how I met Belton, uh, Kevin is uh, through Aaron. Aaron's my real estate guy. Right. And Kevin is uh, 
Aaron's best friends. And I asked before, I don't really need Kevin because he was there. So I was like, Aaron's like, I love Aaron. He's like my really best friend that time. You know, he's, I still love that fucker, you know, but he introduced me to Kevin and, uh, and he said, Kevin's good for it. I asked him, yo, is this guy cool? Is he got good for it? Cause I'm about to let this motherfucker know my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like, I had like so many aliases. I'm like a ghost sometimes, but people don't really know my name, my real name, anything. They just know like, I'm like that. That's it. So Kevin ended up knowing who I am, like what I do, some of my business and everything I do. So it was like I was training Kevin to be like kind of me in a way when I will focus more time on like, you know, like, cause time I had a nail shop, I had a fucking coffee shop. I'm trying to do legit now. I, yeah. I just need a couple more rounds. I'm fucking done with this. I've been hustling my whole fucking life, you know? I don't need this no more. And then I showed Kevin how to water plants, how to treatments, how to, you know, went to water, went to cut and whatever it is. I kind of talking and, and like that, but I didn't, I was still, I was still slinging. I was still growing. I was still, you know, doing all my thing. You know, I'm still, but I'm not really actually watering, doing all that. You get what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. So, and uh, whatever comes out, I was like, I give you half. You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of like, you, you know, you're getting rent free. You're going to get fucking 50% of my, what I'm doing. All you do is fucking water my shit and kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Do my shit. And I'm giving, so I was generous. And um, so he was watching three motherfucking houses like that. So he just watered my plans and moved this out. Now he really knows me. So that's why he did. So he was doing that while I was just laying and right, so running the, business. And the house got raided. He gets arrested. No, yeah. He, he, got, he got pulled over with like a He got pulled over? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh, come on. I didn't know he got pulled over. They went to his house. I never know he got pulled over. They went to his, this is what I thought, the cops went to his house. You thought they raided the house and grabbed him at that time? Correct, and he snitched out my other house. I didn't know he got pulled over. Oh. No wonder this motherfucker well, disappeared made, when I got out of prison. They, <laughs> Seriously, right when, he, right when the news released, they say, oh, I'm about to be out of prison. He motherfucker, like, he, he moved to California because somebody <laughs> told me. I didn't. I, I'm don't look at me. I don't. I didn't know that. I. I mean. I didn't. I assumed he got arrested when they raided the house. I assumed they raided the house because they saw it from the the helicopter or something. They may have pulled him over and been like, "Look, we're going to your house. Bring us to your house." I mean, who knows? Who knows how they got there? You know, but for for him to have gotten pulled over and told them about the house, like that doesn't make sense. He probably got pulled over. They already knew about the house. Most likely. Like, you don't p get pulled over for a traffic ticket and say, by the way, I'm running a grow house. Right. So they may have pulled him over to say, look, we're going to go in the house. We need you to bring us. We're going to the house. We're taking you to the house. We're going in. Like, it's easier to pull him over in a car than it is to raid the house. He may be in there with a gun. They don't know. Well. Anyway. I'm not going to be mad about the fuck. <laughs> yeah. So. Yep. So, so we so, end up telling my other houses. So he, he tells on, he tells, hey, look, they've got other houses. Yep. Okay. You know, see what trip so He tells them your name and that he does the whole, that lays it out. Here's the other houses. Here's. Yep. They. Yep. And then what make it worse. Did you, were you in the house? Sorry. Were you? In I was the, never in the other house. So you weren't even near there. I wasn't even near. That's why, that's why. Like, Did you I'm know so, the other houses got robbed or I mean got raided? Huh? Did you know the other houses I, got raided? I was going to go clean the house. Remember that night I went to his first oh, house? Yeah, yeah, you and were I was gonna, like, you were going to uh, get him out of right Yeah, now. I was going like, yo, I got to go chop down on fucking trees. Because this is like thousands of fucking, you know, this is like every fucking where. So that's, that's how. But on my way there, I didn't get caught in the house. I got caught driving to the fucking house. Right. Same way he got caught? <laughs> I'm saying, like, to, like, when I read the articles, <laughs> yeah, bro. when I read the articles, it was like, there was like one house and they were like, hey, there's, you know, there was a raid. This guy got arrested. There was one house and I was, and it was like, it was like, I forget, it was like 900 plants or something. I was like, oh, it's like 900 plants. Oh, okay. And then I was like, oh, hey, here's another article, you know, a week later, or two weeks later. And I was like, oh, there's two more houses now. It's three houses. Like, oh, and now it's, it's not 900 plants jumped to like 3,500 plants. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was like 2,400 plants. And then there was another article and now it's. 
four thousand plants, and there's, there's not, there, it just kept growing. Yeah. Like I was like, I was like, man, this is getting like I could see the dominoes kind of bop, 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 you know, falling. Yeah, and you bro. could read the articles and realize it's getting worse. Like I don't know what's happening, but yeah. whoever's involved in this, every article, it's got to be like, oh man, this is bad. This is bad. It's only getting worse. It is, bro. So they so they hit all those houses. I have a question. So did you? So you were a group, like there were other, the other people that you were buying from, did those houses get hit too? Yeah, they do. See, that's How many why- houses total? Uh, I think it was like 13. <laughs> Yo, no, man, you, you see what happened? You see the, the domino effects, what it brought us down because maybe one guy, what, what yeah. you think like my fucking family so ain't no about me, be like, well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because I brought an outsider and, and did that. So you think if it was it was the Vietnamese community, they would have they would have just taken the charge and gone for a year, just taken it. I don't even know. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, it was just they blame me because they say because you brought in the guy. Yeah, yeah. I was. It could have been anybody. But they don't. I mean, they don't see that. They don't see it like that. They say yeah. it's like they want to blame, point a finger at somebody. Yeah, yeah. And I was a fucking guy to blame for it. That yeah. was it. It's. It, I get a lot of people who are always like, well. Do you think, I actually had a comment, uh, Colby, I had a comment from a guy, in, one of the guys, they were asking questions, they're like, do you think if you had never gotten involved with that, with these, girl, with these girls, you would have gotten busted? And I was like, yeah, eventually I would have gotten busted. You've got, you've got 50 to 100,000 law enforcement officers looking for this or looking for drugs, or I'm number one in the Secret Service, the <laughs> FBI's looking for me too, and the U.S. Marshals. Like, I'm I'm a sharp guy, but I'm not that sharp. <laughs> like I, I eventually I'm gonna get caught. You know, if it hadn't been those chicks, it would have been six months later. Look, it was almost multiple times before that that I almost got caught. Like I was bound to fuck up. You know, if it wasn't if it wasn't you know Kevin getting busted, it was gonna be somebody. Yeah, something was gonna happen. Somebody would have got pulled over. Some drug dealer would have said, okay. I, they would have got busted. You would have shown up to drop off some drugs. He would have worn a wire. You know, they would have followed you. They were gonna. It's 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 all gonna come down yeah. at some point. You you know these organizations, they always end up falling apart at some point. So to to start pointing, that's the guy. Okay, well if it wasn't him, you if you weren't pointing at him, you'd be pointing at this guy two months later, or this guy six months later, or this guy a year later. It's gonna come down. Yeah. You just it's just not the systems. Look, they're just too good. Like they really are. They got the surveillance. They've got everything. They know what they're doing. <laughs> they it, do, it's, man. it's it's you and ten other guys working against a hundred thousand cops with a, an inexhaustible budget. I mean, you can't expect to. You can't win. Right. So yeah. So 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 you were. Where were you when you heard that these places start getting busted? Like, were you still free? Oh no! Still, you said they grabbed you. They brought you to the one place, right? Um, the grab, yeah. How I many got, houses got busted before they grabbed you? That's what I'm wondering. One house. Oh, just, just one just house? Kevin's house. And then one, and then they pulled you over and grabbed you? Yep. And after that, two my other house got busted. Okay. I and then the other house, after that, the other houses yep. in the whole but thing. But I was the first one. Right. My, that's why, like, you're right, Matt. No matter what's going to bound to happen, no matter what, because we had a good run all them years. We got like a six, seven, eight run, years run. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's just like you, like you were just saying that you were like, you know, because you had gotten away, like you got that one charge and it, it was minor and you, you become, and that's what happened with me. Arrogant. I become arrogant, emboldened. Yeah. And you start feeling like I'm invincible. Like this isn't a big deal. And this. Yes, sir. Same yep. thing. My first charge I ever got, it was like, I got three years probation. I'm good. Like, what are they going to do? Catch me and give me 26 years? <laughs> that's never going to happen. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get smart. They're going. They're going to fuck you up. You know, yeah. it's it's. I always think if I had initially when I got arrested, if I had gotten more time, if I actually had to go to prison, maybe it would have smartened me up. But so when you got did get grabbed, did you ever get out on bond? Yeah, I was out on bond. You got out on bond. Yeah, it was state. That's why I laughed. Oh, state. That's why I laughed. I was like, you guys can't get me. Fucking state. I didn't know what fed was, so I was like, state. I beat state. I shit on state. That's what I thought. I was like, state. So I was out on bond. I was like, all right, I got one of my days, you know. And then when the feds came in the next day, I was like, The what? next day? Yeah. I know guys that literally have gotten out on bond from the state the and been walking day. out of the courthouse and the feds grab them. Yeah. 
Like they'll let you put up like 50 or 100 or $200,000 and then arrest you walking out of the courthouse. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, Did you, wait, is that what happened to you? Or you said no, the next, the next day. day? The next and day. He, he at least went home. Well, the next day at 6 p.m. they went over my, uh, my house. I was, I was, they're like dressed normal and I'm just like, what the fuck? And they're like, they didn't let me go inside the house, nothing. You know, they didn't let me anything. Go over there, grab me, just took me to go, and that was it. Uh, who who was it? Was it? Vets. I know, but was it like DEA, FBI? I think it was DEA or some shit like that, or FBI, one of those fuckers. Yeah. I don't know. It was, they're normal. They look normal. It was intimidating and shit. <laughs> so and I'm they, just like, yo, you know, here I am. Right. Man, I never done fucking state prison, county, yeah. Here I am going to the big boys. So yeah. how so you were so they grabbed you? Mm-hmm. Um, how how did they grab anybody else? Um, they grabbed me first, right? You know, but after they grabbed me, I yeah, I think they grabbed my the, my partner from Canada and without a guy to watch his house in Canada. Yeah, well, no. no, no, no. no. Oh, and so he he yeah, was, he, uh, he's he was my, in he's Nebraska. My, yeah, I call him, he's, he's my partner, but he's kind of like an older, because I'll call him like uncle. Right. You know, and uh, got him too. But he didn't, but he, he was smart. He went back to Canada. So I never really got him. They're, they're, they're Canadians. <laughs> yeah, Canadian citizens. Oh, okay. <laughs> so all those Canadian motherfuckers went back home. So they didn't really got nothing. Okay. Yeah. So here I am, like I was charged with, like leader conspiracy and all that bullshit. I'm like, what? They charged me all this and they're like, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. I'm just like, fuck me. So how, what, so you got out, you got grabbed, picked up, thrown in the U.S. Marshal's hold. Yes. Uh, yeah, Marshal's hold over, right? Yep. Uh, how long, uh, did you, and did you get a, a public defender? Cause I'm pretty sure they, yeah. they took your money. Yeah. <laughs> they started seizing yeah. everything. <laughs> You can't prove Ugh. you can't prove you got well, you can't really you maybe you could prove yeah, you can't really like, prove you have any legitimate say, money. Yeah. The they businesses say, are being used to launder money. They so, say like Oh. They say we wash your shop. We don't make no fucking money, there. Right. We know it. It's bullshit. Can't get a private attorney. They they public defender. <laughs> they got they're good. Yeah. They good. <laughs> they good. I love them. You know? I mean, to lose them like that, they're good. But, uh, yeah, so here I am, you know. And uh, I was facing 10 of life, plus a bullshit fucking charge of uh, leader conspiracy. We were leader participants of bullshit. Like, I was, they're making out like this big dude, which I'm not. Motherfucker, right. I was going weed to support my fucking kid. <laughs> you know? Leader, leader, organi- leader organizer? Oh, yeah, as a leader, a, a participant of legal organizer, some sh- bullshit. Okay. Yeah, conspiracy. I don't fucking know. Are they something. trying to hit you with all the houses? Yeah, they're trying to say, yeah. They try to hit me. With, well, they hit me with all the houses already. So that's how I ended up. Start, I, was, uh, I started with 10 Alive. Right. The, um, so what's your, what's your, uh, your public defender telling you? Did you even think about going to trial? Or you're thinking just try and cut as good of a plea as I can? I was thinking going to trial. <laughs> I that would have been a mistake. That, huh? would, that would have been a mistake. I think they'll hit him with like 25 years. Oh, right yeah. They, yeah. You, 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 we, we wouldn't be talking. Um, so I have a question. Is um, what, what, what did you think when the public defender said you're looking at like a minimum of like you're looking at 10 years? Minimum. If everything goes right, you're looking at at least 10 years. What did you think? The first thing is, fuck, I'm not going to see my mom until I'm not going to see her last fucking day. Oh, That's the yeah. first thing that always brought my mind. Fuck, my mom's not gonna see me no more. It's funny how when you're facing that, What's how up, suddenly everything becomes like all those things you took for granted suddenly become important. It's like fuck, like all the it's it's yeah. It's not until like you it's you know it's like it's not until you lose everything that you realize what was really important. Yeah, like I but I bet the one thing you didn't think about was what oh I'm not gonna be able to drive my Ferrari again like. You could care less about that. No. Like all that stuff. I could, like when it, when it happened to me, when it happened, I mean, my first thought was not, man, I'm not going to be able to drive my Audi or see my girlfriend or, you know, all those things that I was stealing that money for. I didn't care about any of that. My first yeah. thought was like my mom, my son, my, you know, all that. 
you know, <laughs> but when you're out there, I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, for some reason, you're right, bro. Just like, that was, I was like, man, I'm not going to see my mom till like, fuck, she's going to die. I know she's going to die before I, I get out. So fuck, fucks me up, you know? And uh, what fucks me up even more is when my wife divorced me. I didn't give a fuck about the money or anything. Uh, she divorced me, like my lowest moment in my life, and she, I got this divorce letter, you know? So I was like, I took it. 